Oh, I gotta remember to Hell's Dolest every. Well, at least everything seems like the audio is doing what it's supposed to this time. I think. Sam, say something. Something. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, Y'all know I screwed up last week with it, and it's just like, ah, oh, why? <laughs> why, Orion? Why, why'd you do this? I had to cut like 20 minutes out of the, the previous thing, because it was just me talking to myself. <laughs> but, yep. Here we are, back again, and finally on a better time schedule. Yeah, it seems to be working. Hello everyone, and welcome to One Piece D&D Dungeons and Devil Fruits. Uh, I am your DM, Orion, and with me, as always, is Captain Akisu Blackburn. Micah, Hello. how are you doing? I'm doing good. We got uh, Scrim Bimbus Snyder. Hello. Uh, Sienna Chibiusa. Hi. And Tonga Wirio Sam. Hello. How you all doing? It's, it's been a week. Yeah, we had a busy day yesterday. We had a good uh, recording. Uh, we, we did. That, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to having them back on the podcast at another time. I Hell went to yeah. Last night, so that's out of the blue. Mm. <laughs> I'm through being social. Hooray. Let's see. Uh, Scrim, your uh, you're, uh, mic seems a little low. I think that's just you, fam. You know, it might be me. Like, uh, do I turn my stuff up here? Oh yeah, you know what? I have my audio like halfway. No wonder. Testing, testing. Yeah, yeah, you're you're good, you're good. Okay. I, I just keep my audio down low. It's just like so as not to burst my eardrums every time. Right. You don't want to burst your eardrums? Uh, no, not particularly. I, like, I I know I got hearing damage because a baby scream has like the same decibel range as like a machine gun. But like, mm. like being a father, <laughs> that, that, that's going to happen. But uh, all right, uh, where last we left off, y'all had gotten off your ship, taken to the land, and decided that y'all had a big old plan to sabotage some stuff, some hit and run tactics. But before you could get too far, you encountered a zoo pirate search party. It didn't really determine exactly what they were searching for, but uh, y you did encounter them and swiftly took them out. And I fucked up and spoke out of turn. I got cooked. <laughs> <laughs> that th they did. Uh, I think you guys were planning on what sending ahead in the mail, like like, like psychopaths, like something something like that. <laughs> I believe that was Akisu's idea. Well, what the no, captain says. Idea. True, whatever the captain says goes. <laughs> captain knows best. Listen to your captain. <clears throat> oh, all right. So, it it's still like a early afternoon uh, where last we left off with you guys. And you were looting the bodies, and I didn't complete what uh, I had for the loot, because, like, my loot tables weren't, like, right with me. So, uh, in addition to what you guys had looted previously, y'all find a jar of salt. And, uh, Tonga, you find this particularly interesting. You find a little piece of rope, and it, mm. like, as you kind of, like, uh, pull it out of uh, one of the guy's pockets... It, it starts to kind of like curl up into a knot all on its own. Okay. And like a, a if you like, as you like try to like pull it straight again, it, it just seems to like go right back into a knot. Oh, interesting. Memory. Yeah, a, a rope with memory. Interesting. I kind of like, I'm just kind of holding my hands, I'll examine it, I kind of like untie it, tie it. See what's like, see what happens. 
you know, kind of like play around with it for a little bit. Yeah. Right. Bring it to the group, and I'm like, look what I found. Weird little ring. <laughs> Not. <laughs> And as you guys look, it just continues to nod itself. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Snyder, you were searching some of the bodies as well, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Uh, in your search, you find an anchor earring on one of the guys. Like, just a big old, like, a stereotypical Popeye-style anchor. Yes. And uh, a vial of red fluid. Uh, would you like hey. to make a uh, medicine check to try to figure out what the red fluid is? Yes. All right. Give me give me a medicine check. Seventeen. You, upon like giving it a little sniff, you just kind of like uh, swish it around a little bit, and it it. It's familiar to you because, like, uh, you, you've seen uh, similar agents used on uh, in the past. It, it seems to be some kind of acid, possibly made from red algae, to the best that you can discern. Ooh. Uh, Chibi, uh, you find a kind of a bent key with a, a little bit of a faded emblem on it. Can I do, like, a history check to see if I can figure out what it is? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Give me a history check. Nice. Nice. Right. Oh, yeah, good one. Uh, I, I, you know, I actually didn't see what the roll is. I, I should... <laughs> this is 17. Oh, oh 17. I... Y'all are on it tonight. So, uh, looking closely Oof. at it, you, you see that it's kind of a uh, an older uh, emblem of a uh, the uh, G2 uh, base that's uh, one of the few uh, Navy bases in the North Blue. Okay. So, I'm going to actually put that down. Just in case I forgot, because. As well as you also find like a little diagram of a, some fish anatomy. It seems to be some kind of a barracuda. I gave it to Tonga. Yeah, can I uh, look it over, see if I know of it? Yeah, yeah, you can give it a little bit of a look over now. Given uh, your experience with uh, cooking and stuff, uh, you kind of like, yeah, it, it seems to be pretty accurate, and it shows like uh, where to get like the best cuts out of a barracuda. Okay, yeah, I can, I'll roll that up, put it in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, you're you're used to seeing like little uh, chef diagrams. It's kind of like uh, oh, yeah. those uh, oh, things helps. you see in the butcher shop with like uh, the the parts of a pig or. A, Right, yeah. Yeah, like one of those. Yeah, I kind of look it over and I'm like, Barracuda, huh? Haven't really eaten too many of those. Maybe we'll have to make it a specialty. Mm. You cooking food? He's. What? We let him. We let bro cook for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, finally, the last little uh, piece of uh, loot. Uh, Y'all get Akisu on uh, the uh, guy that you were fighting previously, uh, the the berserker guy. You, you notice that on like one of his r fat fingers, uh, a ring. And uh, m give me kind of a, let's say history check. I'll look at his history. Well, hold on. Can I? Since I'm like a merchant, can I like them? Oh yeah. You're, Maybe you're I can like determine his value or like anything. Yeah, go right ahead. Oh, I think I actually I have Ooh. I got a nat twenty. Okay. <laughs> I was okay. gonna say maybe I can do like advantage, but like never mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Akisu. You've uh, seen this material before. Now the ring itself is unremarkable as it has like a big old flat side to uh, the top. 
and it doesn't really have any uh, distinct markings. But uh, upon touching it, you kind of feel like the the cool calmness of like a, just a sense of the sea itself. You re you recognize this material to be sea prism stone. I was about to say, is it a sea prism stone? <laughs> It's sea prism stone. Wait, so why did he have it on? The the best that you could uh, guess from kind of like handling this would be maybe he had fought devil fruit users in the past mm. and pro realized that you know logia types don't take well to uh, uh, being hit with sea prism stone. Right. So basically, this will allow you to be able to. Uh, overcome uh, devil fruit resistances to uh, yeah. to unarmed attacks. Nice. I'll put it on. Thankfully, he had big, chonky fingers, so you're able to kind of like slip <laughs> it into like your uh, pinky. Think about that. <laughs> Man. Would I be able to like melt it down and make it into bullets? I could. Uh... Melting it down, not exactly, but there is um, enough of it that it could be carved into bullets. I would say, depending on the roll that you'd get for attempting to do something like that, you might be able to get one or two. Okay. That's probably better just to keep it as a ring, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Does anyone here, like, uh, fight with their fists? I mean, I think it just applies, like, who you're damaging. Huh? It just, like, applies to any damage. More like, it's just, yeah. like, you, you have to have con to No, you have to make oh, contact you with it. Yeah. Um, I mean... Yeah. I mean, I'm probably, like, our only melee fighter, other than, like, JB, I guess, but... Yeah. Basically, the way Sea Prism Stone uh, works, Sam, because like I know you're not uh, too uh, up on the, the One Piece stuff, is uh, it, it's basically uh, the weakness of uh, Devil Fruit users because it's very much like kind of a, it, it holds the essence of the ocean. Question here: It's it's a ring, right? Yes. Like how how big? Oh, uh, you know, it like... can fit on my pink. It, it can fit on Akisu's pinky, but like uh, the, the dude was like uh, kind of wearing it on like one of on like okay. the middle finger. Hear me out. <laughs> as as I'm kind of looking at this ring and I'm thinking about how we don't have melee punch fighters, maybe I'm like maybe I could like forge this into like a blade kit. Could could I like wear it to build a tolerance? Because I don't. I because hmm. Luffy I and like and Wano was able to oh, do all this like amazing strengths of feet of uh, uh, feats of strength like while in sea prism cuffs. Hmm. You know what? That's a very interesting idea. Uh, you'll take some uh, debuffs. Like a basically, uh, you'll have a. Uh, Exhaustion while wearing the ring. Yeah. Oof. All, attacks, all attacks and stuff at disadvantage. Yeah, but I I will say that uh, over time you can develop a resistance, which could be helpful in the future. Right. But mm. it, if you specifically put it on, it would give you a stage of exhaustion. All right. We could definitely find some uses for this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what if I like? I know you can't really like melt it down. I mean, what if I could like forge into like an arrow tip or something? I think you could probably do something like that. We'll we'll hold it for for study. <laughs> yeah, I'll just keep wearing it till we uh um figure out what we want to do with it. Who knows? Might... Maybe I might I might be in close range of somebody and have to punch him. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? No one ever expects uh, Akisu to just deck somebody. <laughs> yeah, I really want to do. I really want to headbutt somebody. What kind of material is? Is it like a metal or is it like it's bone? A, it's more like a stone. Uh. 
but it, it's not unusual for people to kind of like uh, coat things in sea prism stone like a mm -hmm. Like Smoker does in in uh, the earlier arcs, like he's got this big old baton that's coated in sea prism stone, and it's just a big old beat stick. It's like, yeah, true. It, it's fantastic when dealing with devil fruit users because like Logia types are usually like really uh, hard to hit. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm thinking like maybe I could like coat the edge of a blade or something. Yeah, if you if you had enough sea prism stone, you could. Yeah, you could have like a um. Like a sea prism kendo stick. Yeah, yeah. Cause I'm like, cause I'm thinking, I take my sword and I fucking put the edge in sea prisms. <laughs> yeah, it it would basically be the equivalent of like uh, getting your weapons uh, silvered. Oh, true. That makes. Okay, that's. Yeah, and if you guys uh, take care of uh, some marines, there is the possibility of getting yourself a, a set of sea prism uh, cuffs it, it's, okay. it's cool. common for sea, for marines to have those can i determine like the value of the ring right? like, mm. like if we if we were to sell it or like how much it's worth yeah sure uh, let's uh, get an appraisal here what should i roll for that charisma uh, I'd say uh, that'd be an intelligence. Uh, let me look. Wait, at hold that. on. I, let, me, let me check my memory. Uh, you can get that. Yeah, because you, uh, you got your merchant stuff. I could call upon connections. Right. All right. So I just roll an intelligence. It's weird because like it, my mind still kind of goes back to like uh, third edition where uh, appraisal was a skill. Mm -hmm. I kind of wish. Do so I add like was. a proficiency or anything? I'd say since you're a merchant, yeah, add proficiency. So that'd be a seventeen. Yeah, you'd estimate it to be about a uh, uh, hundred and fifty thousand berry. Right. It, it's one of those things where it's not common. Like you don't see mm -hmm. too many of these things around. Right. But double fruit users are rare in general. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, especially with like my class. I guess I would know that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Hell yeah. Good yeah. find. Oh, definitely. And it, it is one of the few things that you would have to be careful with because uh, Sea Prism Stone could negate some of your green blood abilities. Right. Oh, interesting. It's why, yeah, it's why certain abilities you can't use underwater. Mmm, true. All right. So what's the plan, guys? Are, are you still uh, sold on... Uh, uh, shipping homeboy's head off to the back to the zoo pirates <laughs> or okay, like... so I... do we do we still want to like walk into the camp do the whole like we came with a message type thing or are we gonna leave it mysteriously for them to find type thing i mean you you like, told me that you wanted me to blow something up and, and rory's just kind of like a uh, holding the small explosive that you guys gave him previously. That's true. Mm -mm. Maybe, okay, maybe we like, we walk into camp, right? And they're like, who the fuck? And we like have an explosion go off. And we like, get their attention. So they all come running out. And then we're like, we came with a message. Drop the head on the ground. <laughs> Your days are over. All right. <laughs> Your days are numbered. High pirates to running things now, right? So I've been like, <laughs> <whatever. laughs> uh, I, I will remind you that the, the, it's the Thai pirates uh, side of the island that you're on. Right. The zoo pirates are running things. <laughs> and you just gotta toss one of the a zoo pirates head at them. We're running shit now, boys. Because we, we want them to know, we want them to think that, like, 
we work for the opposition, right? Yeah, and yeah. We went after them as like a statement. Uh, well, I mean, you're making a statement right there. You're throwing a head at them, like uh, heads are yeah. on a roll, and you're just rolling. We're not fucking head. around, all right? <laughs> all right. We do not fuck around. I think that's a good idea. That would definitely yeah. incite some of a reaction. <laughs> as long as we don't die. But also, like, I don't know if we want to be, like, in the center. Because if they just attack it, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, the whole, the whole That's why I'm kind of thinking I could have, like, my familiar drop it off in the camp with a letter. Jump it. <laughs> All right. I don't I know. Think I... Never mind. Oh, oh, no. What you guys say? Oh, I was, <laughs> I was looking at my, uh... Yeah, your door phone. goes, right? I'm oh, just looking at my phone, so it's irrelevant. Oh. <laughs> well, he still has the door door fruit. You guys can Wait. work with that. You're yeah, you're I do. True. I'm going to kind of think about it for a minute. I'm going to turn to look at you. And I'm going to say, your door fruit. How does it work exactly? What are the limitations? I mean, I can only make a, 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 a space as big as my body. And... um. Only go like what, 30, 40 feet. Okay, okay. But it, it, it's a it's a separate dimension outside of this space where I am unseen, unheard. Mm. Perhaps we have you drop it off and then just kind of escape before anything. Happens. You're kind of like walking, like I've come with a message, blah blah blah. And then they would see you kind of like display your ability, right? I open a door to like a. Uh, a different area and disappear. <laughs> like I, I walk in through the front door and then walk back out of it, but with my door door fruit. Ooh. I, I oh. like that. that. That's actually really what, cool. What what does your fruit look like? Oh shit. I, I think he can actually change what the doors look like. Oh. That's cool. So to make it look the same. So it's, for, it's like a dimension door type thing. Does it disappear uh, after you get into it? Yes. Yeah, as, as soon as he shuts How the door. How many people can pass through? Just you? Um. No. Because in the uh, in the anime, I'm pretty sure he like, drags people mm -hmm. into his door. Interesting. <laughs> what if you just like you act, like you make the door appear in like the center, right? You're all like, "What the fuck is this?" You would like stick your hand out with the head. <laughs> and you <throw> up. <laughs> I, I can bring people through the uh, the passageway as well. Uh, can, can you? Freya, can you not? I'm running a game right now. Well, tell... yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Doing the best course of action. Keep us like, there's a couple different ways we could go here. I like the uh, idea that he had where he came through the front door, but then left through the front door, but it was his door. Yeah. Yeah, that... Honestly, that... Because then they'll try to chase them and be like, what the fuck? Yeah, they're going to be like, oh shit. They'll be like, where'd he go? Where, where is that, that mess go? stranger? Mm. I feel like that would also incite a fight immediately, so... Yeah. It, it's a 50-50. It's we could control when the fight started. Mm. I mean, yeah, if we put like a, a date time, like... Meet us in the gym locker room at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Rory's just kind of like looking up at uh, Snyder. Uh, should I hand this to you too? And he just, he's hold, holding the explosives. <laughs> oh God. What if? Hmm. What if? What if? I, was like, I, I want I don't want to put this in danger, right? So that's why I'm thinking like, okay, I could have my like familiar fly to the camp. 
they're like, what the fuck is that? And then it like lands, maybe like drops off a message or the head. Or and that way none of us are in like direct confrontation and they don't really know our faces. But we want them to know that, like, somebody, the opposition, daily, or whatever, did this as, like, a, as a, a big movement. Right. Okay. And I like, didn't do kill my familiar, like... <laughs> Fair enough. I'll just disperse it. Like... <laughs> I don't know. Well, ball's in your court. Okay. So we have a head of a zoo pirate. And we are heading to... Can you um, send your familiar ahead to kind of like scout how many? Yeah, I already did that. We already did that. Oh. Yeah. So how many are there? Oh, more than 10, I think. Yeah, it was like, what, like 20 people and like a few buildings? Yeah, like, there's this whole uh, camp space uh, before the uh, mansion. Do you have to see where you put the door? Uh, mm. he, like, uh, he, I don't think he necessarily has to see where he's putting the door, but, like, uh, he, he has to know where he's putting it. Because uh, mm. the, 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 the door itself could door. pop out of anything. Oh. Cause, like, could I... Could I give him like an accurate description of like a location, and I then mean, he like use do that? We have the uh, like earpiece, uh, Dendenmushi, or I don't Dude. think you guys have that one yet. But uh, as you guys uh, discuss this, uh, are y'all approaching the uh, woods that lead up t uh, toward the camp? Yeah, I would, I would think we were like walking and talking. Oh, cool. I'll transfer the map, then. Here's also kind of what I'm thinking. I could have a familiar get into the mansion. The mansion is obviously significant, right? It gets in there. Maybe, like, we use the door to fruit to get into the mansion. Or at least you or something. Leave behind the message. And they're like, whoa, not only were they inside, <laughs> they left a message for us. Like, we could set something on fire. Like, we could uh it's true. Use, use your familiar to mark I like, could shit on a table. The building. I mean <laughs> that, that is the staple of, of mm. Akisu. Yeah, Cause I'm thinking like if I can like describe an area specifically enough. Oh God, I can, I I can I see through the familiar, I can speak through it, you know. So I could be like, all right, the room is on the first or like the, the top floor, <laughs> you know. All right, so uh, you guys kind of enter uh, the wooded area. It, it, it's kind of dense. It uh, has a very thick smell of uh, just of birch and dead leaves. It, it's kind of it's about as earthy as you'd expect, with kind of like a fresh mm -hmm. breeze, kind of a uh, rustling through the trees. Mm -hmm. And as you guys kind of like a uh, come closer uh, and onto the path that's kind of like leading up to the main path you you kind of hear like the trickling of a little stream going through and uh, as you guys uh, kind of <laughs> come up closer to the stream you, you see kind of a, a hunched over uh, figure by the stream and he, uh, th this person seems to be like kind of like they have a bucket of water just kind of gathering it from the stream and and then turns around and just kind of shambles over uh, to a, a small little campfire by a tree and kind of like, like a, a bit of a lean-to tent mm -hmm. and, and he just kind of he hangs the he takes the bucket and he pours it into a, a pot and you kind of like see it start to steam over the fire okay what is the uh, what's he what's he like wearing is he like dressed like colors you know it's kind of a uh, greens and, and grays and kind of like a some browns like he's got some brown pants and just kind of like a his uh his cloak that he's kind of like uh, wearing over his shoulders is kind of like a kind of modeled kind of like military camo mm -hmm. any kind of like 
identifying symbols or like flags or anything? Uh, not that you can t tell, but uh, okay. as you uh, approach it, uh, make a perception check. Yeah. Mm. As we kind of approach, it'll be like, looks like we got straggler boiling some water over there. Maybe we should go talk to him. Where's my person? Very substantial. Oop. All right, that's six. I don't see anything. <laughs> and as far as you're concerned, like he just seems like some old man. Can I see if he's connected to the time and pirates by like seeing if he has any ties on or anything? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, make a uh, yeah. perception check. How far away are we from this man's? Let's see. Y'all are right here at the uh, edge. Oof! Oof! Damn! That's not that one. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're pretty sure that, like, uh, a cloak is pr probably some kind of tie. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I'm like, there's a woman over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, there's Long a little kid. Stop. Great. There's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bear. Uh, uh, the thing is, as you're looking at him, like he kind of disappears in and out of view because like his cloak kind of breaks up his shape. Mm. So like uh, you're only really able to see like uh, his uh, skin as he kind of like uh, turns around he's, and kind of moves from side to side working on uh, whatever he's cooking. Okay. I'm going to kind of like look at GB. Kind of like, like you want to sneak up with me? Maybe I'll go talk to this guy or this person. I'm gonna um, hop into the trees and see if I can like, like hide myself in the forest nearby. Yeah, and I kind of want to like approach like casually. I'm gonna have I'm gonna like look back to Akisu and Snyder, but you guys want to hang back a little bit, maybe stay out of sight. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, real quick. I yeah. forgot that I was I had this plan. Um mm. I can cast if we're if we plan on starting a fight mm -hmm. with the tie pipe, I can cast the sky self on myself. Oh, true. And make myself look like the beaver guy from before. So, oh, yeah. so he was a that... master of disguise. Yes. <laughs> so if that's what we want to do, if we try to start a fight, which I'm trying, I I want to start a fight. <laughs> I, I love how the captain is perpetually the deciding vote on everything. Really. <laughs> You should go with Schneider and then, like, do the disguise self and then go through the door, too. That way you're safe. But that way they think it's the beaver, dude. Yeah. But will I be able to fit through his door? Because his door is only the size of him. Yeah, and I'm, like, six feet. That's true. Yeah. I'm I literally mean, half. I'm literally, like, twice as tall as him. Uh, realistically, he could fit Rory through his door alongside <laughs> him at his current skill level. Mm. Mm. Uh, Akisu would be a bit more difficult. Yeah, I'd be pretty worn out. Gotcha. Because stamina and all that. Yeah, um, let's see here. Uh, what is your, uh... I'm gonna have to look at your thing for that, but... Uh, carry on with your planning while I do that. Yeah, I, um... Maybe we can go ahead and... We don't have to fight that, right? We could, uh... Get Aki or not? Get you know, get a good advantage. I'll go talk to him. See what's going on. If they just kind of like live out here or something. Yeah. I got good charisma. I'll be in the trees. All right. I kind of like start walking forward. Kind of like announce myself so I'm not like startling them. I'm gonna be like, "Well, hello there." Who's strange being a another person out here 
Hello. It's just, uh... I'm afraid there's only enough uh, for one. I wasn't expecting guests. Ah, uh, no worries. I'm out here doing my own a bit of gathering, as you can imagine. Ah. Uh, a, a fish man in the woods. Uh, you really are what they'd call a, a fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that true? You know, the local materials in the area are quite useful at this time. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It, you see, there's, there's, there's box from the aspen trees. There's fantastic stuff. I, can, I use that as an anesthetic. And uh, the, the, <laughs> the water here, very clean. It, it runs straight through. And, you know, it, it's, it keeps me nice and away from all of the, the island politics. I, uh, like I, I know enough about that to just kind of like keep away. Uh, that's the good thing about being out here in the woods. Not too many people will uh, bother you. I give him a, a knowing nod. And say, you uh, live out here? I haven't quite been in the area this much. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you could say I'm the... I'm... He kind of like uh, looks at down at his grubby hands. He just kind of like wipes them casually on his shirt. And extends a, a grubby hand to you. But uh, they, they call me uh, Gilbert. Gilbert the Hermit. Ah, nice to meet you, Gilbert. They call me Tonga. Ah, Tonga, Tonga. Oh, you're, you're that fish man that, that, that they talk about. Right? The one at the market. Ah, yes. I do run my own little shop out there. Ah. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for a fresh cat, you... the stream's right there. Well, you read my mind. I'm gonna kind of sit down next to him. Kind of like, <laughs> can I make like a, like a sleight of hand gesture that we're cool so far to like TV? Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of like, as I like turn my like back to the woods. I'm just gonna kind of like put a hand behind. He's like, thumbs up. And I'm just gonna kind of like take a seat next to this man <laughs> for a minute. So you came out here for the the fishing, I assume. It's, it's uh, the, certainly what I enjoy around here. And he kind of like, yeah. uh, he, he just has like a couple of, uh, like a, a couple of fish by the, the fire with little sticks through them. Yeah, I kind of look at his fish stick. That's not quite what I'm here for. You know, I'm more of a sea fisherman person. Though there are, you know, quite a few valuables found in the streams and the rivers. Ah, yes, like the, the, the trout. The trout. Right. I'm mostly here for, you know, the foliage and, you know, the uh, more what's the sort? medicinal purpose. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's plenty of herbs in these woods if you know how to find them. Although you do have to work out, uh, look out for the, uh, the, 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 the wolf boar. I kind of raise an eyebrow. The wolf boar? Oh, yes. Now that is interesting. Oh, he, he, he's a big one. I, I give him a wide berth. He, 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 he's gone sniffing around my camp from time to time, but he, I always uh, send him packing. He, he knows better. I kind of, like, give him, like, a hearty chuckle, pat him on the back. Ah, an old man knows his ways around the, the boars. Not even a wolf boar uh, threatens you, huh? Ah, certainly not. Certainly not. I'm going to say... I'm going to kind of, like, hold my bag out in front of me and say, maybe there's something I could offer somebody like you. Kind of look through a little bit. I have anything. Yeah. Oh, I you know, I'm just gonna pull out like a flask of bourbon, yeah. <laughs> kind of like <laughs> take a shot, kind of pass it to him a little bit. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm say I brewed this here myself. Take a swig. Like, he, he uh, kind of takes a look at it. It's like, hmm. And kind of, uh, upon taking it from your hand, takes in a kind of deep inhale. It's like, 
Let's see. Yep, yep. Kind of smoky. A little oaky. Smoky oaky. Ah, man knows his whiskey's ice. Ah, indeed. Being a a hermit such as myself doesn't just simply wander around the woods all day. It's, it's the best time spent in the woods are often the drunk times. Speaking of wonder, if you could help me with something. I'm going to reach into my bag again, pull out this, like, the, the pouch of mysterious powder that I found. I'm say, I found this a few days ago. I was wondering if you know what this might be. Let, let me see here. Uh, th this is the green powder you had uh, before, yeah? Yeah, I have it listed under mysterious powder, quote, drugs, question mark. Oh. <laughs> uh, he uh, kind of like uh, looks at it, eyes like slowly widening, and like he, he touches it, kind of like gives a little bit of, like he sticks his tongue out just like, uh, mm, ashy. You shouldn't have this. Oh no? What is it? If the government finds you with this, you'll be put away for a long time. I am not. I'm like, let's put it back to my bag. Well, thank you. I don't want to take up too much of your time here. I'll go ahead and get do going. You, do you know what that powder is? I, I do not. I've never quite seen anything before like it. Boy, you know, I know my way dance around. Powder. Dance powder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what this is. I don't. <laughs> you see, many years ago. Question: I... being, being like from the streets, maybe I've heard of dance powder. Can I like like a street check or something? Oh yeah, sure. See if it like rings any bells. <laughs> Yeah, like, it, it could easily be something, like, you've heard of, but never, like, seen. I don't partake myself, but... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a four. I have no idea. <laughs> there, there are, being a... He's, like, a... Being a fish man, it's... It's fair that you wouldn't uh, know or understand. The world you come from is nothing but water. But for us uplanders, there's a... Parts of the world that devoid of water. And there was a scientist many years ago who developed that very powder that you have in your that pouch. What it's used is when it's burned, it goes into the atmosphere and it seeds the clouds and it absorbs all the moisture, making the clouds super dense bringing rain and life-giving water to whatever area it is used upon. But that, kind of like, it's like widen. Oops. But that comes at a price. You see, the people who initially used dance powder to save their kingdom came to know that it came at a great cost. Of all the moisture and rainfall that would have gone to the surrounding kingdoms. Mm. So, trading one blighted drought in one kingdom for a drought in many others. Naturally, their leaders became very upset with the situation. And that led to war. The world government has since banned the use of dance powder. How you came by it is of no consequence to me. And as far as I'm concerned, I've never seen it. But I suggest it stays that way. Thank you for not. Thank you for telling me. I had no idea. Knowing that this may be on the street. Is there any? Very much so. I, I don't know why someone would bring that to the North Blue. Precipitation's mostly... Snow. I mean, if you wanted to, if you wanted to bury an island in a great blizzard, perhaps. But <laughs> why would anyone do something like that? 
like as he mentions like a blizzard a chill kind of like runs my blizzard in the north blue no oh, odd well as you know if most times a year in the north blue it gets quite cold ah uh, living in the deep i am no stranger to cold but that sounds unnatural tell me boy have you ever seen snow uh very rarely maybe uh, once when it was a child well the more time you spend upland you'll see that there's much much more of that in the north blue than other blues hmm that's good intel what was this guy's name again <laughs> Gilbert. Okay, I'm gonna kind of like, I'm gonna put the the powder back in my bag and kind of stand up, reach out a hand. Thank you, Gilbert. This has been very fortuitous. Who would have known that I would learn so much from a old hermit like yourself? Ah, uh, perhaps there's hope for your generation yet. Ah, uh, tell me, while I'm you know finishing up my gathering here. Is there anything else I should be wary of? Anyone in the area? Ah, uh, well, besides the, the wolf boar, uh, as long as you keep a wide berth of him, not too much trouble. And as long as you don't venture over into the, the Thai men pirates uh, dwellings north of here, they are quite territorial. Hmm. As he mentions the, the wolf floor again, there's like a a curiosity my before I go, you have to tell me more about this wolf boar. Where does it where does it live? Is it is it worth the hunt? Many have tried to hunt the wolf boar, but the wolf boar is a cunning creature. A keen hunter. He, the Tyman pirates have only been able to traverse the paths by sheer numbers alone. And, of course, traps that their dear captain had set. They've managed to zone out the wolf boar, little by little. But every now and again, it, someone gets taken. It's why the locals don't like the wolves. Aside from the traps from the time and pirates and the, the wolf boar. And that's why I can find much peace out this way. Can't believe I haven't heard of this. I've lived in the North Blue for some time, though I've never really stepped into these woods. I thought I would have heard about more on the island. To be fair, not it's <laughs> Oftentimes considered more of an urban legend. A story ah. to keep the children out of the woods. But as of the past 19 years, the, the Time and Pirates have done a good job of that. Some stories kind of fade into obscurity under such circumstances. Okay. Alright. I don't think I had any more questions, so I think I'm just gonna kind of uh, wave him goodbye and head off. All right. Thank you for keeping an old man company. Ah, thank you for your time, Gilbert. It was quite fascinating. Glad to have learned. I'm glad to teach those who will listen. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of like. I'm gonna toss him like. I don't know, like a hundred berry or something. Ah, oh, thank you. This will uh, come in handy next time I go in town. Absolutely. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the catch. Oh, I will. I will. You would want to. And he just kind of continues back to his cooking. All right. I'm just gonna kind of like. Are we? We're not like looking to pass him, or are we trying to like? Well, he's up uh, to this side of the river right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys can see the little ping there. In, in my scouting from 
I'm familiar. Do I remember having to like cross the river? Yeah. Or can? Yeah, because as you can see on the other side, like that's the main path that the Time Man uh, pirates usually use. Because mm -hmm. it it seems much more well traveled than some of the other little footpaths through the woods. Mm hmm. Okay. I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna kind of like head, like start walking towards the river. I'm gonna kind of like, before I start crossing, I'm gonna say, ah, by the way, I do have a few more friends looking to meet up with me in the area. If you happen to see them, can you tell them I went this way? Well, I see why. I don't see any reason why not. Ah, good man. Appreciate it. Well, I'll be off then. Very well. I'm just gonna kind of walk to the edge and start crossing, or maybe I'll wait a little bit to see if they catch up. Or I kind of like gesture to QB so like we can go now. I'll try to sneak behind and follow you. I will say that whatever you roll, given his per uh, the old man's perception, you you'll probably uh, it sneak past without any problem. Okay. Got old eyes. <laughs> Cataracts. <laughs> Black homeless. Black homeless. Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Scripts. <laughs> yeah, just basically you melt into the background of the forest. Good light in the mood, you know, good conversation. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, there we go. Nice. As I kind of like. Start walking. I'm kind of gonna pull out the Denden Mushi and make a quick call to Chibi or not Chibi Akisu. So it looks like we're all good to continue through. Wise old man, good guy. All right, cool. All right. So the rest of you kind of proceed up the path uh, towards where the where Tonga was talking to the old man. Okay. I'm just gonna like walk. Alright. No, I'll, I'll just walk with her. Yeah. Keep it casual. Keep it casual. <laughs> what a cool old man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Forest man. I'll give a like a, a nod to the old man. Like a hi, hi, you know what I mean? He's like, whoa, big lady. Auga. <laughs> Every time it just makes me think of that Steven Universe song. <laughs> All I want to be a guy who gets to see a giant woman. <laughs> All right, so what's the, uh, the river crossing like? Is it, is it like these rocks, we gotta hop over them or something? <laughs> well, uh, the, the water seems kind of rough. And is about uh, 40 feet across. Can we tell how deep it is? Uh, uh, with a cursory glance, you can tell that it, it's got about 20 feet deep. Mm -hmm. A shallower towards the edges, of course. Does it look horrible? That picture of the old man that I found, is it this old man? Uh, the little guy uh, right over here? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. What? Oh, oh my god! god! <laughs> da, da, da. I'm gonna show the picture of the old man to everyone. I'm like, oh, 
Oh wait, wait. You you had a picture? Let me see. Yeah, right. You had a picture. <laughs> yeah, I found it on somebody. Alluded to my inventory. Wow. Oh. I think it was the just zoo pirates that we found before. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wait, are you talking about like the the barracuda diagram? Nah, it was last session. Yeah, it was um, last. Oh, oh, yeah, you, there's like a, oh, the, the thing with like a, a locket with a picture in it. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I, I had forgotten about that. I'm going to be honest. I was thinking like, maybe you'll like want it. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, I gotta live in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's not the, it's not the same old man. So. As you guys approach the stream, you as we Can said, I go up to the old man and be like, "Have you do you know this man?" <laughs> Show him the picture. Sure. Uh, let's see. Lots of young folk in the woods today. He kind of like leans in, squints at it. Hmm. That looks like Darrell. Darrell? Yes. I've, I've seen him a couple times in some of the bars in town. Couldn't tell you too much about him, but I, I, I think he I think he had a girlfriend and like a, a kid and had a bad breakup. Poor kid. Don't know what ever became of him. Okay. Well, thank you anyway. I'll be on my way. Not a problem. And then uh, Rory's just like, D did he know the old, the, the dude in the picture? Yeah. His name was, what, Darrell, you said? What if you were like, yeah, he's your dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, your dad. <laughs> Perfect. This whole time. I don't see a resemblance. <laughs> oh, he's old. My kids are just handing me cereal. <laughs> nice. Why are you mixing your you... Reese's Puffs with your Fruit Loops? Oh, because this Fruit Loops has Marshmallow. Please. Excuse me. I need your help. Oh, and also I, I could have used which one I was uh, Uh, hold on a moment, guys. My wife needs me to carry some stuff. No problem. Just a moment. Y'all can RP amongst yourselves and a yeah. lot and plan. Yeah, I guess as we're as we're crossing the river, I'm kind of kind of like let's relay everything I learned from this guy. Um, I'm gonna bring up the wolf and say, "Have you guys heard of it?" Uh, a what? I know. Quite news to me too. Well, I, I, I kind, I kind of want to find it. I, I am also very curious. <laughs> you know, I, I do have curiosities on what can be made from a creature with such a legend. I, I mean, I know Boris. <laughs> I, I, I know Boris good. But and I've never had wolf, but together. <laughs> Oof. Gotta be something completely. Imagine the renown clearing the demon of the wood. <laughs> this is something that's giving the time man a lot of trouble. Who no. knows? Plot twist, we helped the time and pirates get rid of something, and now they're friends. What? The zoo pirates. I mean, I'm friends with the zoo pirates, so... Yeah. 
wouldn't be the worst thing. Inside people. I'm a sneaky snake. Very sneaky. A rousing rabbit. Oh, people. yeah, I'm gonna kind of like. I'm say, ah, oh, by the way, you all remember that powder we. Quiet. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't seem to be a drug at all. Some kind of moisture gathering powder that the caused rain and snow in areas where it wouldn't normally be. Hmm. What if I snorted it? What if I snorted it? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows that? <laughs> I am back. What if I snorted dance powder? I had to carry water out to the chickens. Yeah, chickens? <laughs> you definitely wouldn't want to smoke. I think I think that uh, question of you have chickens comes up every time chickens is mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> you live in a place where chickens are? You can have chickens legally in your backyard? You, you I can. I mean, the neighbors complain, but I can. Do you eat them too, or you just eat eggs? Uh, I, I eat them. I, I slaughtered two last week. Yeah, he talked about it in Gen Chat. What'd you make? Chicken. Mm -hmm. well <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we cooked cock. I'm oh, yeah. gonna be like, what is this? And I'm gonna be like, it's chicken. Just eat it. BBQ, BBC, <laughs> barbecued big black and chicken. Mm. <laughs> you gotta do it up. Uh, thankfully, my wife handles all the plucking and uh, taking out the innards and whatnot. I Actually, can't... sounds like a. Hmm? Actually, sounds annoying. Yeah, it's like there's like tools for it, but like I, I don't deal with that shit. But hey, I'm back. Mm. Well, commercial. <laughs> How far apart are these rocks? Um, far enough that uh, everyone but Akisu would have to make a small jump. Oh, okay. okay. Like, I would just walk past it. Swimmable. Uh, it's swimmable. I'll swim through it. I'm gonna carry Rory on my shoulders. Yeah, I'll just hop from rock to rock. Basically. Okay, so for everyone like knowing just... me, I'm swimming. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, you're literally a fish man. <laughs> Wait oh a my... minute, Scrim can swim. What? Can I carry both I Rory? You can, can, can just hop across the rock. Yeah, yeah, I can just hop across. I have plus two acrobatics. Okay. All right. Uh, I want well, you to make an acrobatic check as you try not to slip as you go across. Ten. All right. So you you clear the first three rocks easily, but the third rock, as you uh, start coming across, is rather slippery, and you fall into the water. Oh no! You start to flail oh, no. around at first, and uh, as as you do, uh, just like eventually, you just feel your strength being drained away become, as you become weaker and weaker. You continue trying to struggle as much as you can, but just like no matter how much your brain screams at your body, it won't move. Can I? Can I assist? Absolutely. <laughs> Carry him to shore for like lifeguard. <laughs> yeah, Tonga just like dives no. in like fucking Baywatch, just like <laughs> just like that the whole run, <laughs> glistening pecs just into the water. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like as soon as I approach the water, I would be like, a part of me is like, get in that bitch. You gotta get in the water, man. <laughs> <laughs> so like I'm already like. 
face like half under the water, just my eyes looking out. Yeah. Snyder. It, you, you see Snyder slip in and just like, this is your first time encountering a devil fruit user falling into the water. So at, at first you're like, I'm like, oh, he's fine. Then I'm yeah. like, oh, he's not fine. <laughs> like, oh, right. Devil fruit. So I was just kind of like, I swim up and I like wrap my arms around your waist. Well, I'm like, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, that, I normally I'd have a check for this, but just like, you're so being a fishman, you're so good with water and whatnot that hey, we it, it's not even that much. So you just kind of pull him ashore, and and as he comes ashore, he just gasps like. <gasps> <laughs> You're fine, you're fine. Rory just jumps <laughs> down from Akisu's shoulders. Snyder, are you okay? W why didn't you swim? I th um, Swimming sucks. Uh, well, you see Rory. Uh, devil for user. Snyder. Are given a vulnerability when in water. Oh. But I think I heard about that once. Like, aren't they like cursed by the uh, the sea goddess? Something like that. I'm sorry. She Snyder. hates me. <laughs> Does that mean that you you can't go to the beach? <laughs> I mean, as as long as I think it's like sixty percent of me is above water. A good thing when you fell out the sky, you didn't fall into the ocean. Yeah, I was gonna say, you really fell into an island. <laughs> oh. Wow. Wow, Snyder, like... The, the gods must be on your side. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, language. Uh, with, the fact, with the fact that uh, the, the world is, like, 90% water, yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. Pretty fucking lucky, yeah. <laughs> wow. I think. Hi, Kujo. What's up? Get your bed. Good thing I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Mm. Wow. I, I think I might want. I'll have to. If I ever get my hands on a devil fruit, I'll have to really think about it. I kind of like swimming. I mean, I, 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 I miss it sometimes. Could you get a devil but... fruit that, like, you swim? <laughs> um, no, but there are <laughs> certain circumstances where someone who gets a devil fruit, like, if they fall like in the beaver water. Guy. Yeah, like, there are circum oh. cir certain circumstances where they could still be operable. Like, uh, the reason that the beaver guy is able to swim uh, to a half-decent degree is because of uh, beavers having a natural oil coating. Mm. It's kind of like mm. uh, the uh, bubbles that they use in Sabodi to like coat Sabodi? ships and whatnot. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Because uh, that's, yeah. that's very curious. Because like, if someone gets a devil fruit that's like a lion sea creature, right? Like, like I don't know. Then like isn't that kind of it'd be a very impractical fruit. Like for, for example, like say you got like a uh, one that turned you into like a fish. Mm -hmm. If you if you had the gills, you could breathe. You just wouldn't be able to swim. That's fucked up. <laughs> it's the that same is a situation. That is a situation Fucking. that happens in the anime. It, it's the that same reason fun. why uh, fishmen don't <laughs> usually eat devil fruit. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that would be like almost like a like a. Thing. You're like disgracing your like nationality. <laughs> like, <laughs> it it's it'd be the equivalent of like, oh hey, cool, I got cool powers, but I can't walk outside. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> My life is water. <laughs> I think that's a big like motivator of why like Hongo would have like uh, chosen this path. Um, or, like, eat his... the bubble through and just like put a bubble around himself and then go outside. Uh, possibly. 
Yeah, that. that, that yeah, makes sense. That, I can see that way. Like, uh, there's very few uh, devil fruits that could uh, not be totally lethal upon falling in water, but they're few and far between. Yeah. And even It'd be so, really they're... funny if a if, if a a kizu ate the fruit that makes her like change her size. Oh, that's You're crazy. just a normal person. <laughs> Damn, I forgot about that one. So, or the devil yeah. fruit to, to be able to change your density. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, the kilo kilo, or is that the other one? Uh, it's the one that uh, fucking one of the baroque works. Yeah, yeah, kilo kilo. Bitches. She severely underutilized that fruit. Yeah. Cool. Like if that was given to an MMA fighter, it would be devastating. God, twenty pound fist would be nuts. It, well, like uh, she does that one thing where she's like, "Hey, a ten k press." Like, imagine just for a brief moments putting like ten thousand uh, kilotons worth of not kiloton, but like a. Imagine just putting like a. a 10,000 uh, kilograms worth of uh, force into a punch. Yeah. Or into an arm bar and then just snap it completely off. Yeah, like she severely underutilized her fruit. RKO someone with a th with a weight of 10,000 pounds. Or 10,000 <laughs> kilograms. Kilos. Yeah. yeah, just like w weighted fists all day. Anyway, back to uh, everything. Y'all are now across the river. And uh, Snyder, a little worse for wear, but still doing all right. He's breathing. Did he, did he lose any hey. Uh, no. Nice. Thankfully, uh, he was rescued before any lasting damage could happen. No exhaustion. All right, so what y'all gonna do now? Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Right. You got two paths in front of you. You got your left and your right. Do we know which way? Yeah, do we know which way? Well, I guess Tonka would with his circle. Yeah. Yeah, which way do we go? Uh, you, <laughs> you know that the uh, left path uh, leads north. Okay. <laughs> Which path leads to the mansion camp? <laughs> what? Which path leads to the to the camp? Uh, the the north path, the, the left. Oh. Path. Okay. Do I? Damn, I don't remember what I've had. Yeah, kind of like find the camp. So we don't know what's on the. Uh, okay, so I'll kind of say. Uh, left path heads towards the camp in the main. I'm not quite sure what's on there. Alright. And as you guys uh, go deeper into the into the woods, let me just uh, pull my thing here. You, you notice that uh, part of a... No, child, you don't need that. toddler with one of those Mio uh, drink things that you put in the water bottles. <laughs> my, my kids like to just like it. sip those like straight out of the thing. Well, like, do we do we want to head straight, straight like the that way or do we want to explore the other direction? The other way is a wearbaker or wherever it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, left is the cab, right is the the Wolf bear board. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys going to be going for a, on a boar hunt? Maybe. I don't. I don't. I don't think we. Should, I think we should rest first. <laughs> We're kind of like being hunted by all these people. So yeah, we should. We should. We could take note of it. Maybe come back when we have. 
right. worn out, like wounded and <laughs> tired. I'm not think about the phone. Uh, y'all could take a short rest. That is true. Can you? I mean, uh, if you set up a camp, yeah. Oh my belts. <laughs> Maybe. Mm, okay, can we get like close enough to like we start to see it, and then we kind of like break off to make a little separate camp? Well, you could do that. But as you get closer, you do. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you guys to make, uh, each of you make a perception check. KK, what time of day is it, by the way? It's about, I'd say four in the afternoon. Cool. I rolled a two. <laughs> All right. I four more. <laughs> okay, so he's got a two, uh, Akisu with a twelve. Oh, geez, she's cracked. <laughs> Chibi's on it. She's in her element. I see ghosts. She is in her element. Yeah, sure. So, uh, what's the marching order uh, as you guys kind of going through? Mm, that's a good point. I would say I'm in the back. I'd say I'd be first. Yeah, probably Chibi first. Maybe like me, like right to her behind. All right. I'm still carrying Rory. Okay. So, as you go uh, on ahead, so as uh, you're just kind of like rushing on ahead, you get Chibi, you notice that there's a very, it's, you notice one at first, then two, then like three, and then, then more as you kind of go through various uh, little ties in trees and in, in spots in the ground and like as you're kind of like dashing through you, you notice that they some of them resemble snares and nooses hey, you'll be like, everybody stop and i think we're uh, as you uh, uh realize that you turn around and tonga i'm gonna need you to make a dexterity save oh shit <laughs> okay they already say my rolls are ass. I got a twelve, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to ask uh, Akisu to also make a dex uh, save. Damn! What about Rory? I have him on my shoulder. Uh, Rory's. Uh, I, I rolled a save for him, but right now he, he's just kind of attached to you in the process. Oh, oh no! Yeah, if you go down, he go down. Okay. Not... Okay. So, Aki, so wait, you, Micah. Uh, as you, uh, that was that was your ability check. Saving. Mm, it, it's honestly all the same, considering how there's like nothing to uh, her decks. Okay, that's fair. Oh yeah, yeah if you don't have any modifiers. Two. No, I have a plus two. Okay. Oh, well, which you got the you same roll. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, honestly, they're both fine in this uh, regard. Right. <laughs> so, Akisu, a as you are just kind of like walking uh, after everybody, not really paying too much attention, you you feel a snag on your foot as uh, this tie <laughs> uh, just l uh, laces itself around your uh, ankle. It pulls tight and starts trying to drag you. And then, like, using your immense size, you just kind of, like, pull back and kick off, and it just kind of rips. <clears throat> and you just have, like, this loose tie just kind of dangling from your ankle. Do I get snared? <laughs> Can I untie it? Uh, you know, now, mm -hmm. uh, Tonga, <laughs> you, you, you just barely didn't make it. So, like, uh, one just kind of, like, a. Uh, falls over your head and just like <gasps> it, it pulls you up a few feet I'm off blind. the ground. <laughs> oh god. Don't turn out the lights. <laughs> and it's just like like it, it wrap it's like you're being pulled up by this uh, thing like a noose. Oh shit. Oh shit. And then Rory after like regaining his balance like oh because like he he was half falling off of Akisu. 
Uh, uh, Tonga, he's caught! I'm gonna kind of like... Uh, Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, make a survival check. Me? Yeah. At least I can time it, bitch. Oh. <laughs> 16. Alright. Uh, you, you go up. Uh, you see that he's a... Uh, He's pretty uh, stuck up there, but uh, you, you kind of like take out one of your blades, and you got more than enough uh, jump ability to be able to just cut him down. Nice. Cut kind of onto the ground. <laughs> like hold tight, Rory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, spider monkey. And then like, cool. yeah, as a target like falls to the ground and like the the tie is cut, it it falls slack around your neck, and you can breathe again. Oh my god, son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking hate ties. <laughs> it had to be ties. I hate <laughs> ties. <laughs> yeah, that's from Indiana time. Jones, right? <laughs> I gotta, like, reach out a hand for you to pull me up. Ah, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Can't have a chef diet on me. What would I eat? <laughs> that is true. Lord chef. knows you like to eat. Eat the chef or the chef's food. I don't know. <laughs> he is a fish man. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Any wise ideas. <laughs> All right. So, do I take any damage or anything? Don't, don't fuck with me, Tonga. I'll make fish for dinner. Yeah, I'm going to say that you do take a. Uh, let me just find my D4. You take three damage from that. But okay. thankfully, you were cut down before it became a big issue. Because strangulation rules are indeed a thing. Yeah. Rory just kind of like leans over on Akisu. It's like, they seriously booby trapped this entire area with ties that's insane gotta use what you got i guess <coughs> kind of like it rubbed my throat a little bit Ugh. hmm i guess we should be careful going forward are we still able to do the short rest uh let's see uh we gotta make camp uh, one of you can make a survival check to find a good camping spot. Chibi. I got a plus three on survival, so I'll do it. Yeah, Chibi can find a spot without... Oh, that was oh, oh, a crack. Chibi. Oh, it's Akisu. <laughs> Akisu's got it. That's a crack. <laughs> I also have I got that aerial view. Survival. Captain knows best. <laughs> you probably be living in the woods for a while. That <laughs> is in my backstory. It's true. It's true. All right. Akisu, after kind of uh, looking around, you, you kind of uh, see a spot up ahead that's tie free. And it's just kind of like a, this little uh, inlet off the side of the road behind a little bit of brush and like a pretty open space. It seems like some nice soft grass and it, a, a good spot to kind of like a, take a rest. Like, even has like a here, like a big old boulder that kind of leans off to one side. I'm gonna lean on it. I'm gonna sit on it. I mean, Akisu jumps up and sits on a massive boulder. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of like sit underneath it, kind of just cross my arms, lay back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> then like Rory just kind of like uh, walks up to Tonga. It's like a. Tonga, forgive me, but is is that bruising or is like is that spot supposed to be purplish <laughs> blue? I, I, I can't really tell. I, it might be a little. Maybe you should have Snyder look at it. I kind of like look at it. I'm like probably a good idea. I'm gonna reach into my bag. I'm gonna pull out some of my. My food preparation snack. Uh-huh. I'm gonna kinda like, cause I can. 
I also added this to my sheet so that we actually have the stuff for it. Hey. So I can um, equal to my proficiency bonus. I can pull out a number of treats that I made. It's my two, five, two. I'm gonna kind of like, I'm gonna pull one out. I'm gonna eat one. I'm gonna hand one to. Mm. I hate one to Akisu. Kind of like toss it to you. It's just a little like fish cake. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, you can use a bonus action to eat one of those treats to gain temporary hit points equal to my frequency bonus. So you gain two temporary hit points. On top of my nine that I still have? Yeah, I guess so. If you haven't lost uh, any, right? You end up taking whatever the greater value is. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so then I'll give it to somebody else. Yeah, give it to Who someone doesn't? else. I'm good. Yeah, like, uh, Snyder took damage last time. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, here, I'll talk to the Snyder. I'll be like, Snyder, you think you can, uh, while we rest, patch it up a little bit? Yeah. I actually haven't seen too much on Snyder's uh, doctor ability. He does have some stuff for that. Yeah. And I imagine we can uh, roll a hit die, see how much we heal. Yeah, you, you can uh, roll a hit die uh, on your uh, short rest. Yeah, you roll a couple that? of those. What is my, what's my hit die? D8? D6? I, can't remember. I believe it's a D8. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. And thankfully, Rory hasn't taken any damage. Good boy. I don't think he he's has. Been, no, he's been staying safe. D8. Bro, my rules are actually ass. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn. I heal one. <laughs> Maybe you should have a doctor look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my double forge is D8. <laughs> Let's see here. He's got like some features and stuff. Actually, let me, let me look here. Because I maybe you didn't add it to your uh, sheet, but I know there is a thing for the doctor role, and you mm -hmm. have, and I know you got some of your, uh, your stuff there. Let's see here, crew rules. Go down to doctor. Helmsman, record keeper, musician, shipwright, chef. Why isn't this stuff in alphabetical order? Okay. So, you have uh, two features. Uh, one you can use with your pirate prestige called first aid. Uh, when you are... Take the doctor rule. You're capable of stitching up wounds, providing first aid to yourself and allies. You can spend a prestige point as an action to restore 1d6 plus 4 hit points to an injured creature, plus an additional plus additional hit points equal to the creature's maximum number of hit die. The creature can't regain hit points from this ability again until it finishes a long or short rest. Oh. I can also use so that would one be a D6 plus seven. Damn. Nice. Okay. And that only costs you uh, one prestige point. Okay. Can I can I also use my pirate prestige? Uh, for the chef thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, for my first class feast. Yeah, first class feast. Uh, is a, you used a food preparation previously, which is just you can use that every rest. Mm -hmm. Make some snacks rest. for you know. Yeah, so 
Yeah. You spend a prestige point provided you have ingredients and cooks utensils on hand, which you got your ingredients and cooks utensils. Mm -hmm. You can prepare enough food for a number of creatures equal to four plus your proficiency bonus. At the end of the short okay. rest, any creature who eats the food and spends one or more hit dice to regain hit points regains an extra one D. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so all right, I will play. So we, we kinda like make camp a little bit. I'll set up a fire, pull out like a pot, you know. Yeah. So or make I, I guess at that point it's like a Whichever one of you wants to spend a prestige point can do so, and uh, it, it'll be it'll be some healing. Are we are we the only ones that done? Me and you? Yeah, it looks like uh, just you two. Mm. Can you can you only heal one person at a time, or can you heal like me and? It, it would heal both of you if you do the food. Well, here, let me do the food then. You can save it. Yeah, get more bang for the buck. Okay, so, okay, I can make food for all of us. Yeah. Uh, I guess the main difference is that uh, the first aid can be used in combat. Yeah, I think that should keep that bang. Yeah. Okay, so, so I should roll an extra hit die for mine, and then everyone else, I guess you, can roll an additional D8 in addition to your hit. There's no fucking way. <laughs> There's no fucking way. <laughs> Damn. Oh, wow. Uh, after this session, I do want you guys to uh, add these to your sheets. I did. Cool. Yeah, I, I will. All right. How much are you healing? What even what is your hit die? Is it a D six? It's a D eight. You're both D eight. Oh, right. No, that's good. Damn. Lower roll another one. Rolls. Yeah, you roll an additional D eight. Oh yeah. I, I do know you guys can spend extra <laughs> hit dice if you want to. I, I will put that out there. But it only costs one hit, and then you get the additional one. Yes. That's, you get to save your hit die, too. Yeah, because you each have three hit dice to work with per long rest. So you've uh, managed to get a little bit uh, extra mileage, even with the low rolls, just off of your food ability. Mm. All right. Yeah. That works, though. Nice. Let me subtract yeah. one of them for three. Oh, yeah, and you added it to the, the inventory. Nice. Higher prestige down to one. All right. Now we'll subtract my yellow tail tuna. Say I make like a, some. Tunas. Do some it. tuna rolls. Yeah, I make tuna rolls. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yellowtail tuna is supposed to be like really good, actually. It is. It's good. <laughs> I think that was like the favorite food of like uh, Zatch Bell and like. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of what I'll flavor it. I'll like take a minute to, you know, cook some food for us, get the, the yellowtail tuna rolls, and then I'll kind of use my food preparation to make those snacks that I gave to me and Snyder. Well, at least you're getting a combination of healing and uh, temp HP. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. I basically healed four. There <laughs> so, I guess. Yeah. Four. <laughs> and then I took some damage. <laughs> I, I, I guess it helps. <laughs> Every little bit. Y'all just gotta be careful if you get into another fight. They gotta be careful. <laughs> Everyone except for Chibi. Chibi's too fast. Chibi's fucking chilling. Alright, that's cool. 
Oh, yeah. All right. So, with your short rest rested, <laughs> y'all are good to go. So you move you move on through the woods, just kind of back on the path, and I'm gonna need everyone to make uh, more perception checks. Cause seventeen. Seven. Ten. Oh no. <coughs> Okay. And I'm gonna roll for Rory. Oh, that was the wrong die. Okay. So Snyder and Tonga. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh damn it, Tonga. <laughs> Look, I don't live in the woods, okay? <laughs> you, as as you're going through uh the trail that uh, you kind of like feel like this tie sl- kind of like slither around your shoulder as it kind of like oh, pulls get your off arm me. and like you're just kind of like pulled up into a tree uh, to the side, and uh, <laughs> the the the, it, the same thing happens to Snyder on the other side of the path, and like a- as you guys are like kind of like looking around, you you, you see Snyder and Tonga just kind of like. Uh, pulled like uh, Snyder by his ankle uh, it's just kind of like hoisted up into the tree and uh, Tonga's just kind of like uh, dangling from his uh, right arm I mean, yes, my... I'll save you guys <laughs> it's okay get Snyder I can get myself out this time <laughs> I gotta right. just pull like a knife <laughs> <I'm just looking. laughs> uh, you'll each take three damage <laughs> Woo, that breaks me! <laughs> cool, I just got... I... well... There goes everything that I just got. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah. Easy come, easy go. I need to roll for some. That's what the temp um, HP is for, baby. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Well, how do you want to try to help Snyder out? Like, you could... You could I'll make just do the same thing I did last time with the knife. All right, just a just a basic attack roll at the at the tie. I imagine you just like just lift Rory up, and you're like, get it. <laughs> that hits. Seventeen. All right, you, you you get him down. Cool. I'm gonna have to let my dog out real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah, actually, I think this would be a good uh, stopping point for us because, like, my family seems to be getting a little rowdy right now. That's cool. Good two hours. Yeah. And you had, like, uh, you got work to get ready for anyway. Yeah. It was fun. (laughs) With that, I'm going to give y'all a. Let's see. I'm gonna give you all a hundred HP, uh, XP, but uh, for that, because you, you didn't have to kill a guy. You, you dealt with some situations. You did some planning. Gotcha. Cool. That's thirteen twenty-five. I love having little XP bars. Me too. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't, I don't know how. Oh, we, I don't know how we live sure. without these. Like, yeah, milestone's great, but it's sure. just, like, XP's fun. Yeah, it's good to, like, see your progress. Yeah. And with that, we'll see everyone next week. Yeah. And I can 